So I kind of learned how to do sketching, right? So sketching is sort of like a, a rough draft to, to writing. So the idea is when you sketch or doing your rough draft, you want to actually hold the pencil like this. And kind of hold it towards the, towards the rump or the rear of the pencil so that you can just lightly scrub the tip of the pencil over the surface of your medium. We're gonna start by just kind of making some shapes. We're gonna start off with some easy ones like the, uh, the square. You're just gonna lightly rub your pencil over your medium. And what I like to do as I'm drawing my pictures is when you place your paper down, it doesn't have to stay there. You can spin it around and move it up and down, left and right, however you feel comfortable with your drawing. I know that sounds silly, but a lot of people when they're drawing, they feel like they need to keep their paper square with whatever surface they're working on, but you don't. It makes it easier for you to draw lines like this. Turn your paper so that you can continue drawing your lines like that. As soon as you get your sketch or your rough draft of your shape and you like the way it looks, then you can go into the drawing position or the script position when you're writing things and then you can start adding those straight lines that you don't mind being nice and dark there we go now we have a nice dark square we decide that we want to use our, our eraser tool to get rid of those lighter lines feel free to because guess what those drawn lines are now engraved into your paper so they, won't go, they aren't going to go anywhere. They're stuck. Okay. So we still have our square. Of course, a little bit of the darkness comes off. So you can just go ahead and add those back in. It's already pretty dark. So there you go. Practice again. Try doing a triangle. Same method, sketch it out, come back, and you can add those lines when you've got the shape that you want, the size that you want. There you go. Now the point of doing the sketching before the drawing is not just so that you don't ruin your picture by putting too dark of a line, but it's also to help you find a shape to um, to suit whatever it is that you're making. A lot of people have a difficult time drawing circles. So sketching is a perfect uh, strategy to create circles. Some people when they draw their circle ends up looking kind of like an oval. Now when you're sketching, you're just gonna keep your pencil moving in a circular motion. And if you see one side getting a little bit more elongated than the other, you kind of just bring your pencil to an even wider motion. So you finally come up with a circular shape that you like. Slowly trace around the area. The contour of the circle. Until it's all the way completely around. Okay, and you can go ahead and erase your your sketch lines. Um, to make it nice and even just like our square up here. Now what is the point of teaching you guys or actually um, learning to do shapes? Well because in everything that we we see out in the real world even though they're odd and, and not symmetrical they're still using shapes to create. So if you look at say um, a fan or a clock you can actually see those round shapes. And if you look at, say, like a garbage can, or say you look at a book, you can see rectangles as shapes. When you see a broom or a kind of pole, you also see these rectangular shapes, even this pencil. When you look at it from the side, it looks like a rectangle with a triangle for a tip. So these things are all shapes. And when you start practicing your shapes, you'll have an easier time looking at objects in the real world, world and having an easier time understanding how to draw them when you see those shapes in them. You're just going to connect all these shapes, put them all together, 
and it'll come out with something that resembles something in real life. Okay, so let's try and practice what we've gone through so far and actually trying to draw a cartoon character. If you have a piece of paper and a, and a pencil, eraser, you guys can follow along with me. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an oval to the center of my page, sketching it out, yep. holding the pencil, like that. Okay, a nice size oval on my paper. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a circle right at the top of the oval. Nice large circle, sketching still. So I have my oval as well as my circle. And then once again, I'm going to draw another circle on the inside of that circle, a little smaller. Sketching around and around until I get it right. And once again, I'm going to put another circle within that circle. This one's going to be a little bit towards the bottom of the smaller circle. Not necessarily in the center, but more down and to the left, just like that. And then I'm going to draw an even smaller circle right in the center of that one. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of rectangles at the base of my oval. And one's going to be on the left side of the oval, and the other one's going to be on the right side of the oval. Now I'm going to make two more ovals at the bottom of the rectangles. I'm just going to put a couple of small holes going like this. Move your paper if you need to. See that? Okay, from here, I am going to draw a square right in the center, or center and the lower half of my oval. So here's my square. Okay, so I'm going around, going around, making my nice sketch lines. And at the top corner of both sides of my square, I'm going to sketch another circle on either side. Circle here and circle there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a semicircle. Semicircle is just a circle cut in half. So do is that I'm just going to make the bottom part of the circle, widen it up. See, since I'm sketching, I can move my shape around. If I need it wider, I can fix it. If I need it smaller, I can fix it. And I'm going to cut it in half, like so. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a couple of rectangles sticking out from the middle of the left and right side of the oval. So I'm just putting little marks to show me the middle. I'm going to put a couple of rectangles. I'm going to angle it up. Rectangle. Same with this one. Rectangle pointing up. Nice long skinny rectangles. Then I'm going to do it again. Because I'm going to bend here. So it's going to go at a higher angle almost a right angle with the paper. I'm going to have another rectangle. And this one, I'm going to bend a little bit, a little bit less than the one on the right side. There we go. Now at the top of each of these rectangles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a triangle. Right, triangle, triangle, triangle. And a triangle. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Everything is still shapes. And you guys can kind of make out already what it is that we're drawing. And then at the top of the triangle, I'm going to put a nice size circle. Sketching a circle. Almost looks like a lollipop, yeah? You have a circle, the triangle wrapper, and then the rectangle for the stick. It looks like a lollipop. Same, same thing on the other side, another circle. And I'm going to make another rectangle here, a nice long rectangle. The rectangle is going to end here, and it's going to end here. 
So I'm just going to go all the way through the circle, just sketching lightly, just like that. And then I'm going to make another rectangle on top of this long one. It's a little bit wider and much shorter, much, much shorter, just like that. And then I'm going to add on the base of this side of the rectangle, a circle. Connected right to the base of that rectangle. Circle, circle. And then I'm going to put another circle. This time I'm going to make a bigger circle. And it's going to overlap a smaller circle slightly. And that looks kind of like a number eight. And then finally, I'm going to put one more circle sitting on the bottom arc of the first circle we drew. Just like that. And then I'm going to put a small rectangle at the bottom of the bigger circle. Rectangle. Top rectangle here. I'm going to just put a couple of dots. Circles. Tiny circles. No detail. Just a couple of tiny circles there. Now on top of this circle here, on the top here, I'm going to put a small circle sticking off of the edge here. And I'm going to put two more circles, one at the tip here, overlapping slightly this long rectangle, and another one here, overlapping slightly this long rectangle. Just like that. If you guys need to slow down or if you need to um, pause the video, do so. That way you can keep up. If not, we're going to move on. On the other side, we're going to put an oval cutting down towards the middle of the circle. See that? An oval. And then we're going to put an oval sticking out of the side of the circle, like that. And then another one sticking out of the other side of the circle, like that. How's that look? Okay. So now that we've gotten to this point, you can kind of see what it is we are creating. First detail we're going to add is on the base of your your oval, you're going to draw a nice little line going towards the middle of the square and ending on each side of the oval, like that. And then from these two circles, we're going to draw these lines extending out and over this rectangle sticking out of the side, out and over. Same on this side. The line is going to extend from the button, from the circle to go up and over this rectangle. So from this circle, it's going to go up and over this rectangle. And you're going to make two lines going up. Just like that. Okay? Now for this semicircle here, what we're going to do is we're going to put two semicircles on the bottom of the semicircle like this. And up on the top of the semicircle, we're actually going to do about four of them, four full M, I mean, um, semicircles. So here's the first semicircle, here's the second one, third one, and the fourth one. See that? We have four semicircles on the top of our bigger semicircle. And then we're going to start another semicircle, but we're not going to finish it. It's going to be like a quarter circle. And that's going to be the, in the corner of the bigger semicircle on both sides. Quarter circles. Just like that. Now extending from the center, both sides of the bigger circle in the middle of the oval, we're going to have two rectangles right in the center on both sides. See that? And then from here, you're going to draw two lines going in an arc towards the end of the oval on both sides. Okay? They're going to arc. Just like that. Kind of getting the idea of what it could be. Alright, on the top of our oval, we're going to add a couple of lines going across 
<laughs> Just like that. And we're pretty much done with our, our sketching. So the next thing we're going to do is take our Sharpies and we're going to start to outline our sketch. We're going to take a thicker Sharpie and this is going to be the main contour or the outside line uh, pen. Okay, so we're just going to do this really quick. You're going to take your Sharpie and you're going to slowly go around your lines like going around the entire figure. Just like that. It's okay if you don't hit exactly on the line. It's not a big deal. See, when it comes to the arms of the figure, you're just gonna continue this line straight from the first rectangle and up to the triangle, just like that. Go around the triangle, up to the circle, and the round. You're not going to color in the whole circle. You're going to stop there and just do the contour or the outside line. Coming down and around and around again. And this rectangle gets colored. And then you're going to do the two outside circles, just like that. And this line here. And you're going to finish up with the rectangle up top. Okay, so coming back to our oval, we're going to go up and around. Turning my paper so I don't stress out about messing up. Using the natural arc of my hand, I'm going to complete my oval here. And then I'm going to extend my line out to the rectangle, meeting the next rectangle, and curve it upwards towards the triangle. Then I'm going to color in the triangle. And finally, hit the circle and ovals up top here. Oh, spinning us all the way around. Whee! outside of the figure. All right, when you have bigger uh, shapes on the inside, it's okay to continue using your thicker Sharpie. So this square here and this circle here, they're nice and big. So you can actually still use the larger Sharpie to come down and outline these shapes in the contour, yeah? But I'm not going to cross the base of the square. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that line in from the edge of the oval and touch it to the side of the square, the center of the square. Same thing with the uh, big circle up here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come around. Okay. Do a comfortable arc for my hand. Come up. And these guys are going to touch. Just like that. And I may even want to do this shape here because it's nice and big. Just gonna cut across and go under and back up. And continue working with the extra fine tip, Sharpie. And this one is actually just going to use, be used to color in the lines, the major lines, okay? I'm not gonna touch any of the detail such as these circles here, these circles here, or these smaller circles here. This is basically just to continue the thicker lines or the bigger bigger shapes. So this one's going to come up and over. Okay, same on the other side. Down. Down. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extend these two lines and we're going to make a small little angle, like a square right around the circle, just like that. So we have another uh, couple lines here that we can color in with the 
extra fine sharpie. So this is going to come across here. And this one's going to come across here. Just like that. Good. Alright, so these circles, we're going to do that too. We're going to just kind of finish up the uh, circles here. So this one's going to come up, around, just like that. And the same thing for this side, around. And then you notice that we didn't get to finish the rectangle here, so we're going to draw that line in now, just like that. Here we have the other tri uh, the other rectangle connecting to the smaller one. We're going to finish that line up, as well as the one connecting here to the two circles. We're going to finish those line up. Now we can actually color in or trace around this rectangle here at the base of my big circle. And even if we want, we can actually outline the circle shape in the middle of these two circles here. I'm still going to avoid doing the, the top circles because they're really small, so I'm going to save them for one of my other pins here. But I can finish the triangle's base here. Just go there a couple times, as well as this one on the other side of the hand. Finish up that triangle, but then I'm going to swipe up and around on this oval, and then I'm going to work on these two art rectangles, as well as the two rectangles sticking out of the circles, okay. up and around, up and around. And then these two lines are going to come down like that, like this, and like that. See that? Okay. We can even do inside the semicircle. We're going to go ahead and draw in these semicircles. Sketch them in, as well as the semicircles on the bottom, just like that. I'm going to do the circle on the inside. That's going to come around. We work so hard to do this. So we want to take our time. Oh, another suggestion too. Try to avoid working around people who are active. I would say like little children or pets. Because if they bump your hand while you're doing your, what I like to call inking, they're really going to mess up all that hard work that you just accomplished. So, a word of advice. If you can't get away from, from the kids, then don't stop drawing. Just be very careful when they come play next to you. You kind of avoid doing the inking for a little while and then come back to it afterwards. Okay? Medium Sharpie. Okay, has a finer tip than the extra fine uh, standard sharpie. And this is just going to be used for the smaller shapes, even more detail. So we're going to do the two circles that are connecting the square to these rectangles that shoot up. Okay, we're also going to be extending this square out a little, just like that. See that? Kind of extending them out a little bit. And these are actually going to shoot from the top of this line all the way down to the arc. Now there's one more shape that I forgot to put and that's inside the middle. It's gonna be kind of a, a semi-circle. So you're gonna cut across the top here, near the buttons. Just make a straight line here. And then you're gonna come down and around, almost like a semi-circle, but it's almost like a rectangle too. So. I would just call it a rectangle with a very smooth edge on one side. Take our pen, our medium sized pen, and we're going to outline that new shape up and around, just like that. And finally, we're going to add some of our super fine details, and we're going to be using the fine tip. Kind of make it out. It's really, really fine tip. 
okay? And these are going to be used to make the really fine details, such as the little circle in the bigger circle, as well as the smaller circles up here. We are going to do the little circles, circle those bad boys in, look good. And then for this circle, I want to add a little hint of light, as if there were light resting right here. If you couldn't tell, it's an eyeball, so I want to have a little glint of light shining off of this uh, part of the circle. So when I make my black dot in the middle, or the iris, the pupil area, I'm just going to kind of make like a crescent moon shape using my pen, if you can see that. Maybe a kind of a crescent moon type shape because I want to put a little highlight here later on if I decide to color it. And then I'm going to darken that bad boy in. Okay. And then this part here, what I'm going to do is I want to actually draw these straight lines coming up because if you haven't noticed, this is a ukulele that this particular character carries in the cartoon. So we're going to have these straight lines coming from the base rectangle all the way up to the top rectangle. So, I mean, you can use a ruler. Um, unfortunately, I forgot my ruler and I don't want to get up and grab it just yet. So I'm going to use another piece of paper. See? Well, what's good about the paper is it's nice and straight, it's nice and long. Okay. So the line actually doesn't have to be visually there. We can also make it like there's a hint of a line, so we don't need to go all the way up. Sometimes we can just stop at the middle, come from the top, stop in the middle. Doesn't need to be perfect. So we have the lines here that come up. Going back to the larger pen, I'm going to color in this circle here so it's nice and black. This is also considered detail too, but because the shapes are a little bit bigger, it's faster to work with the larger sharpie. So I'm just going to color that in. This part here, I'm also going to color in this mouth. This is all going to be colored in. Be very careful when you're working around your your light lines because of the thicker sharpie it could just cover up your detail and you won't be able to see anything past it okay how's that good all right so even these here we can color in because the individual order of shoes that are black so as you can see it takes a little while longer because this is a bigger shape takes a little while longer to color it in using this sharpie so cover this bad boy up and bring out the big guns which is the wedge tip and this one is a little bit better you know let's go even bigger let's go with this one highly suggest you guys working somewhere there where there's a fan when you use this particular marker because this one is super smelly okay but it does the work and it does it quickly now the gloves themselves are also black so we can take our smaller our smaller pen out and we can do the coloring of the gloves you want you can color in the gloves all the way I like to leave a little bit of white at the edge of the glove and then color in the rest mm, just like that so it kind of looks like there's light reflecting off of it and you can kind of still make out some detail from the fingers see that so from here I'm just gonna color in this part color just like that 
¿Será? Same thing on this side. I'm going to leave a light line going on the side of the glove, as well as one of the fingers. Color that bad boy in. Just be careful. Using the larger Sharpie, you don't want to make too much of a mess. Okay, even the strap up here is black. So I'm going to do that, that whole thing again where I leave a line of white. Just like that. Same thing on the top. Fine work, fine work. Take our detail pen and we're going to color in the buttons here. And it looks like we're pretty much finished with our, our inking. Maybe perhaps we can add one more thing and that would be the lines that we had on the top. Take the eraser. Okay. We're going to take our eraser and we are going to erase all the lines that we drew using our graphite pencil. Okay, and we're going to just speed this up and you know how to erase, so just go ahead and erase all of these graphite lines off. Okay, so there we have it our finished cartoon character, all nicely inked. Not a spot of graphite on the paper. I mean, people, your friends are going to come around and look at your picture and say, hey, how did you draw that without using a pencil? And it can be your little secret. Now, if you want to take this a step further, you, of course, can make a background or color in the figure themselves. Yeah? The character, you guys already know, is yellow. And he's got these overalls that are blue holding his ukulele. And ukulele is made of wood, so it's brown. So if you folks want to start practicing your coloring, feel free to. In fact, um, perhaps I'll do that right now and show you a, a colored version. Alright, so I just really quickly colored in the, the character. And I used the basic color pencils. Nothing special. Sorry, moped driving by. These are up and up brand from uh, Target. Nothing special, you know, if you're just practicing your, your art, good thing to buy because they're inexpensive. I believe I picked up this 24-pack um, on sale, it was like $1.75 or something, so that's really good. And it's got a, quite a, a wide assortment of colors inside the box too, so it's pretty impressive. <clears throat> and the color's not that bad too, it's, it's pretty smooth. And you can actually do some layering over each other, um, like you can see with the Ukulele here, I kind of add a little bit more brown and a couple slashes of darker colors to make it look like it has wood grain in it. But yeah. So there you have your first cartoon character. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you had fun. See you next time. Please hang up and try again.